Hi everyone and welcome to dinner with my neighbor. Today is the 68th day here in Boston, Massachusetts and we have May 22nd, 2020. Today we're going to make a nice Thai rice with some curry sauce and coconut and it's going to be with some turkey and vegetables. And what we put in there, I'm going to show you right now. So the veggies are really nice to have because we're now in the spring, right? Have some asparagus some carrots and zucchini. Uh, that's my choice for today. Um, then we're also going to add some bamboo shots, uh, which is adding that nice little extra. We need some turkey, obviously. Uh, some rice. Jasmine is really good for that. Then if you do have like some kind of uh, curry cream sauce, if not, you can also do it yourself with a coconut creamer or coconut oil and curry powder. Huh? So don't worry if you don't have that. Um, ginger powder or actual ginger, I probably put both a little bit in there. Um, that would be great. So let's get started. We're going to heat up some water for the rice and we're going to cut the veggies and then I'm going to show you the next step. So we're going to start with the carrots. Huh? Just take off the skin. Then the ends, huh? And then you just cut it like in pieces like this. You don't have to make it smaller. If you want, you can, um, but that's fine, huh? All right. And after that, you put it in a pan and heat it up. Okay, the zucchini, I just washed it real well. I don't think, even if it looks like that, you don't have to take off the skin. In the skin, there's always a lot of vitamins, huh? so let's leave that. If you wash it well, otherwise you have the bad stuff as well. huh? So it's really kind of uh, give or take. a good size for the zucchini huh and again add it into the pan the only part that you don't want to use from the asparagus is the end here that's usually quite dry so we're just gonna cut that and throw that away in the compost and then from then on you know just small little pieces that are comfortable for you to eat so that's something like that they can still be small sticks Huh, that's fine. And the rest I would leave like that. Huh? There we go. Up to the pan. The turkey. So we have two huge turkey breasts here. Huh? So there's already one little piece that just comes off naturally. Um, hmm. I would say let's put that lengthwise in half. Huh? So if you can see that, I would probably just cut it through. Alright, now we have two halves and you just make that smaller. So it's going to be rice and the rest is kind of like added. Huh? So imagine like small turkey pieces with all the veggies mixed. Huh? Alright, they're, they're still now quite big I think so. I'll make them one more smaller, huh? They're just quite, quite big turkeys around here, huh? It's actually funny we have over there, if you look out the window, um, we have a little hill and sometimes in the morning you hear those sounds and you're like, is that a dog? Is that a human? Or what is that? They sound very interesting, um, the turkeys, huh? They have a very particular sound. They're walking now is like 10, the size of like 10 turkeys around the neighborhood, which was not the case before Corona. Yep. So the ginger is a little bit of a tricky one, huh? It has a lot of arms and it's kind of irregular, but what you definitely want to do is try to get rid of the skin. Huh? So just peel the skin as good as you can 
And then we're going to use some of the flesh to put in the whole mix. So here it is. We're just going to cut that very, very small. You don't want to have too big of ginger pieces in your food because it's a quite strong um, flavor. Um, and it should really just fulfill the purpose of giving something extra to the taste, uh, not necessarily the texture. I find ginger quite interesting in the way it sometimes feels while eating that. Huh? So just make it as small as you can. It's a very woody vegetable, huh? Or spice. All right, the water is boiling. We're gonna put in some rice. That'll do. And over here we have the vegetable. Um, I haven't spiced anything yet, but I think this just looks fine to actually get rid of the water. Then we're gonna add the rest of it and, I mean the turkey. And then we're also going to spice it. So let's do that. So here we are. This is now the vegetable, just as is. We're going to add the turkey. We're going to add the ginger. this nice Thai sauce and preferably shake it before you put it in there because there's always stuff on the bottom that's really nice that we miss out otherwise. What I would do here so that you get the full amount, put a little bit of white wine, there it goes. And you get so much more of the sauce, huh? Okay, and I would definitely also add a little bit of curry powder because I always make the experience that for my taste, again, um, you might be different and like it in another way, but I like to actually taste the curry and with that sauce it's quite mild. So I'm gonna add some, huh? And let's not forget the bamboo shots. Okay, so here we go, we turn it on, we mix it nicely and you just let that sit until you feel the meat is about done, you know. So that's again something you just kind of have to check and try, you know. But it'll definitely take like 10-15 minutes on low heat, huh? Okay, let's give it some time. There we go. With the rice, I would just add some salt. At the end, we can maybe add some butter or olive oil, but that's pretty much it. With the rice, I wouldn't do too much because you're gonna add all of this kind of like together with the rice. So there's already a lot of taste in there. So what you definitely can add to this nice mix if you want, again this is just optional, but it's nice to have a little bit of the coconut um, flavor in this whole composition. Um, it's something I really like, coconut and curry, optional. The, the sauce itself with the curry, it's perfect, so don't worry about it. So the rice seems to be ready, huh? all we do with that is we just drain the water and maybe add some butter or olive oil and that's it. So here we are. We put some rice in a small field here. You can put quite a lot, huh? Rice is kind of like bread. At least in my culture, that's more the case. Lots of bakeries. And then the nice turkey, veggie, coconut, curry, Ugh, it's quite heavy mix. Okay, there we go. Bamboo shots as well, that makes it actually really nice. So I will put quite a bit in here. The person can then mix and match with the rice, you know. I'm gonna put this down, it's really hot. Ah. All right. So here it is, 
That's how he looks, huh? I'm gonna close it. Swiss chocolate. Here we go. And if you've liked what you've seen today, this nice Thai rice with a curry with turkey and vegetables, please share it online. It's called hashtag dinner with my neighbor. And you can do that yourself. You just tell somebody, hey, you want to have dinner tonight? And then you either cook for each other and actually bring it uh, in front of each other's doorstep and you enjoy it virtually, or you cook wherever you are and the other person cooks and you enjoy it virtually. It's just as much about cooking, but also staying connected, staying social and catching up with each other. Hey, how's your day going? Hey, what are your plans for the weekend? Like COVID-19, what can we still do? Okay. I'm actually a musician and I have a web page and it's called GabriellaMartina.com. And tomorrow, Saturday, May 23rd at 2.30 um, EST, I have a concert live streamed and it's hopefully going to happen because it's outdoors. So let's hope it's not going to rain and it would be great if you tune in. I'm trying to actually raise some money back for the tour cancellation from everything I've lost. So if you can um, donate everything, that would be amazing. If not, you can also just watch it and share and spread the news um, about this concert. Thank you so, so much. Hopefully I'll see you again tomorrow with dinner with my neighbor.